Welcome to this uh, Business Central update video with my uh, colleague uh, Ramon Simons. Yes, welcome. My name is Edwin Kommerink. In the coming uh, minutes, we're going to talk about uh, Business Central uh, functions and features. Yes, some uh, new changes that uh, are introduced or will be introduced soon. So uh, maybe we can start off with the first one. Yep. In so, particular, the user interface. Yes, these are all related to the user interfaces. Um, the first one is uh, the action ribbon. Um, it still looks uh, familiar. Mm -hmm. um, but what you can see is that they have uh, reorganized some functions, um, uh, take out the double ones. Uh, sometimes you have uh, functions that are at several places in the, in the action ribbon. So they regrouped uh, the, 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 the actions. And um, what is improved now is that you can modify the, the structure uh, and the sequence of the actions in a similar way that you can do with, uh, with, the, with the, the fields on the pages and on the cards and, st and stuff. So it's, uh, with a drag and drop, uh, you can uh, modify uh, all your action bar. And uh, well, that's something uh, most users uh, will, uh, will yeah. welcome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go to the next one, uh, switch between companies in different environments. Yeah, um, well, the old old uh, school users that uh, uh, have a history aging back to the time of uh, NAV, um, they know uh, the, the, the shortcut key control and the uh, O uh, to switch between the companies. Mm -hmm. um, well, now we have something comparable in uh, BC Online and uh, it's even improved uh, compared to, to before, um, you can still switch between uh, companies like you uh, used to be able in NAV. Um, but like you can see on this uh, this page, you have the uh, ability to open a certain page uh, uh, in the, the, the same list in another com uh, company. So, uh, for instance, you're in the uh, item overview mm -hmm. and you, um, you see the stock, for instance, uh, there and you want to see the stock in one of your other companies, you can open the same page with one click in the other company. So that's uh, very powerful. And, and you can not only switch between companies, but you can switch between environments as well. So you can yeah, switch right. between your, for instance, your production environment and your sandbox env environment. Uh, but besides that, you can switch between production environments. For instance, um, you have an a entity in the, in the Netherlands and you have a German entity as well. So you can switch between those entities. So, um, yeah, very uh, powerful to do some kind of intercompany uh, processing. Yeah. Um, so make it much easier to navigate between the companies. Yeah, yeah. it will so save cool. a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. it will save a lot of clicks. From, uh, from, yeah. Then we go to uh, searching company data. Yeah, this is this is one of the makes <laughs> you, you can see me smiling, right? <laughs> um, it's still in preview, like you see in this uh, this page. So yeah. uh, I uh, I don't guarantee that you will see the exact functionality that we have here on page. Um, you have to uh, enable it in the, the feature settings in, uh, in NBC. It's not standard mm -hmm. uh, enabled uh, yet. Um, but what it what it does, it does a. Um, um, a kind of a cross-column search, uh, like when you're searching for items and you uh, in your item list, you can do the, the uh, you, you enter your search criteria and the system search in all the fields um, uh, for your search criteria. Mm -hmm. This what this thing does the same, but it does it in all tables. So, for instance, if you want to uh, search for, uh, like we have on this page, for an, uh, for an item description, um, it's, it searches in all the, uh, the pages. So, of course, in the item, uh, in the item table, mm -hmm. but in the um, post sales invoices as well, in the post sales shipments. So, you can see all the places where the item has been used. You can, yeah, you can uh, find matching uh, records. You can even define what tables should be included in the search and what tables should not be included. And you can uh, define as well uh, in what um, uh, fields uh, the search should mm -hmm. be done. So it's very flexible and very powerful. So uh, I hope, well, if, 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 uh, if they, uh, the final version will be like this, so well, I'm, uh, I'm happy. So uh, <laughs> let's hope they, they, they keep it in like it's, uh, they have developed it uh, right now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, very cool functionality, very powerful. Cool. Go to another um, function about searching, uh, search for posted and unposted document lines. Yeah. Um, in the uh, 
existing versions you could already search in um, uh, in, in documents mm-hmm. um, so you had um, like a, a, a sales line uh, page so you can uh, uh, see all your sales lines in one page uh, without navigating from order to order you could see all your order lines uh, in one uh, one page mm-hmm. not only the order lines but but um, um, uh, all other document types as well so your quotation lines your invoice lines and all 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 those data is stored in the same table so you could see all the data in that table um it was very easy to make uh, overviews and stuff like that uh, what microsoft has, has now done and uh, they have uh, uh, created similar pages for the posted document lines so you can now see all your invoice lines like the sales invoice lines or your purchase invoice lines mm-hmm. in one page the, uh, previously uh, um, a lot of uh, partners create customizations for this to have one page with all the data mm-hmm. in there now uh, microsoft have to, has uh, added some standard pages okay. so you can uh, yeah move away from uh, those uh, customizations so uh, step forward yeah nice okay, we're going now to the uh, automatic save on changes can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that this is a bit of a sensitive issue in uh, in the whole uh, uh, bc world um, uh, a lot of partners uh, uh, were not really uh, happy with this uh, change mm-hmm. because it affects a lot of uh, apps uh what has changed um well all users that work with bc or nav they know that you don't have a save button in your pages eh? Mm -hmm. you just modify a field you go to the next field and you think uh, data is stored but for some tables um uh, what uh, the system did was a a postponed save Uh, so you modified some fields and only when you uh, left the record the data was stored Mm -hmm. um for other uh, other data, it was uh, right away. So, like if you're in a, a, a simple table with only a few fields, usually uh, you just leave the field and the data is stored in the database. Mm-hmm. Um, the postpone saved uh, save uh, uh, process um, was uh, meant to uh, check first the um, uh, coherence between the fields, so that um, if you um, uh, have one field um, that requires another field that you uh, first have to uh, enter uh, register both fields before it's saved and uh, t- uh, to avoid getting errors between because if you have set up uh, one field already uh, and you don't have uh, this is what we're going to do I have to put it in Ze moeten er een stukje even eruit plakken eruit knippen dus we beginnen gewoon even nu dan met deze ja, dat is goed Shall I introduce them here? Yeah. Next item is the uh, automatic save on changes. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about, about that? Yeah, that's a bit of a sensitive one. Um, uh, most partners were not too happy with this because it affects a lot of apps. Um, previously, um, um, all data was stored right away. Uh, well, that's okay. No, get you for new. Cut, 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 cut. Cut! <laughs> Next item is the uh, automatic save on changes. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, something most partners were not too happy about because it affects a lot of uh, apps. Um, well, the old school users that uh, are used to work with uh, NAV uh, already know that if you leave a field, uh, data is stored right away. But it was not for all tables like that. Um, for instance, if you, uh, if you are in a, a sales uh, line, um, um, the data was only saved when you left the record and that was to prevent a lot of errors because um, uh, there were some uh, relations between fields mm-hmm. like for instance you first have to um, uh, select the item uh, uh, line type for, for instance uh, item or GL account and then you have to enter uh, the number the item number or the GL account number mm-hmm. so um, um, if it's, uh, um, it was stored right away before leaving the the item uh, the sales line record. You could get some errors because the relation uh, was not uh, correct already. Mm-hmm. Um, so you had a delayed insert, as it was called. Um, what has Microsoft, Microsoft uh, done? Um, they 
uh, have now removed the delayed insert. So you get for uh, every uh, field that you change, it, uh, uh, the data will be stored right away. Um, it has, of course, uh, some uh, uh, advantages. For instance, if you have opened uh, two pages uh, that look to the same data, mm-hmm. um, which, what Microsoft can now do is if you modify one page, you will see the updated information on the other page that looks at the same information right away. So oh, okay. uh, you get a live update. So that's mm-hmm. one of the biggest uh, advantages. Um, what, what the problem is, and that was the, uh, the reason why uh, the partners didn't like it, um, not all uh, apps uh, um, um, not all apps echt wel een kloot onderwerp is dit zeg piep en of nieuw helemaal of nieuw te lastig joh uh, laten we weer even simpel opnieuw doen ja. uh, het is ook een lastig onderwerp om uit te leggen ja, ja. het is een echt lastig onderwerp inderdaad dus gaat u weer <laughs> Next item is the uh, automatic save on changes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. Um, Well, Microsoft uh, uh, did not get the approval of most partners for this one. Um, There's uh, quite a bit of a discussion uh, going on uh, over this uh, issue, of this change. Um, In old versions, uh, people were already uh, used to um, uh, not having a save button in, in, in NAV, for instance. Um, so if you change a field, data is stored right away and uh, people uh, were used to that. Um, but for some tables, um, uh, you had something that, that was called a delayed insert, a delayed update. Um, so you had to uh, uh, leave the record you go mm-hmm. to another record before the data was stored. And that was done uh, to uh, prevent uh, a lot of errors occurring because the relation between fields should be sh- uh, should be sh- checked first. For instance, if you create a, a sales line, you have to enter an item number, mm-hmm. uh, but you have to define the line type as well. So you first select the line type, item, then you enter the item number, but uh, you can select line type GL account, for instance, and then you have to enter in the number field the GL account number um, you know, to prevent errors because you uh, have set the um, uh, line type but did not set the uh, uh, number field uh, yet mm-hmm. uh, you get a delayed insert so that you can first fill in all the fields and then leave the record and all the validation was done what Microsoft has changed now is that um, the data will be stored right away so um, uh, you, you enter a value in the field and it uh, saves the data to the database right away um, the advantage of the change is that if you have uh, like two pages uh, uh, open on your screen that look to the same data mm-hmm. uh, for instance you have the item overview and you have an um, item card open and if you modify the uh, values on the item card you will see now that the uh, item overview data will be updated right away so you you modify the data in one page and the other page will mm-hmm. be updated right away so that's very powerful and uh, you all always see the live information the disadvantage is is that um, uh, well not all apps are already prepared for that because they uh, expect some data be, to be validated before it is saved mm-hmm. uh, to the database so um, uh, apps or customizations might break um, and another um, a disadvantage is if you're using like um, uh, the power platform uh, like power automates or mm-hmm. uh, logic apps uh, you pay per transaction and um, before it would be one transaction if you create a new record uh, but now uh, every field that you modify is a transaction is a transaction uh-huh. so uh, this might be a new cash cow for microsoft so um uh, it, uh yeah you might need to change your uh, uh workflows that you created with mm-hmm. power platform or uh with logic apps um yeah to prevent too much uh, uh transactions are fired to your database and okay. you pay per transaction so uh, that might be a bit of ex- expensive um, for new databases this is um, if you create a new environment uh, this feature will be turned on automatically uh, it will be automatically turned on and for existing databases they uh, have turned uh, kept it turned off so yeah. it still works in the old way so that you have time to fix and check your customizations and apps and stuff like that but yeah this in the future it will be 
uh, turned on automatically, but I don't know yet exactly when it will be, but okay. uh, it will be a, a, a mandatory feature in the in the future. Mm -hmm. So something to be uh, aware about. Okay. Are our app Tunix apps already for this? Yes. Okay, we, we check already... them. Uh, we check yeah. them right away. So okay. they, they, these are uh, all clear. Uh, yeah, but but we had to uh, look into it and fix some issues actually uh, as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So uh, we were a bit surprised as well by this uh, functionality. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks for the update. Then we also uh, want to uh, highlight uh, one of our apps. Yeah. This time, the Appertunix app inventory inventory availability indicators. Yes. Um, mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> well, the question is, is, this is one of the apps that uh, was affected by uh, the change okay. with, uh, the, uh, with uh, the autosave perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah um, well, uh, this uh, is one of our most popular uh, apps because it's uh, so uh, powerful and actually so simple to use. Eh? Mm -hmm. You have um, uh, you get uh, indicators colors actually that tell um, uh, per uh, per line uh, if your inventory is there or not or will be there on time or not and uh, the, the the cool thing is uh, because uh, our install base is growing and growing we get a lot of feedback and we get a lot of requests for new functionality and um, if you look at the uh, well the, 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 the past period we uh, we have done a lot of uh, improvements and uh, mm -hmm. new uh, functionality. For instance, uh, uh, the most of them are uh, related to the, the ship and planning page. A really cute, cool overview where you see a list of uh, orders in the top part of the screen and you select one line and you see in the bottom of the part of the screen, you see all the sales lines in that, uh, in mm -hmm. that order. And you can see with one uh, blink of an eye, you can see uh, if the whole order is uh, available for shipping. You can set uh, all kinds of... Uh, need uh, filters um, so you can filter for uh, orders that have something to ship or uh, are partially shipped so are ready to invoice and stuff like that mm -hmm. so it's very powerful and you uh, have um, uh, uh, various ways of to integrate of integration with uh, your uh, logistics setup so you can choose whether to use with um, in, uh, inventory picks or with uh, warehouse shipments mm -hmm. you can uh, uh, select orders and uh, create one single shipment for multiple orders. So uh, it's a really powerful tool and we keep on improving it. So uh, for all uh, companies using it or interested in using it, if you miss uh, functionality, please let us know yeah. and uh, we will always uh, look into it. Uh, uh, we love some good ideas and uh, uh, well, sometimes we have uh, uh, kind of a, uh, how do you say it? scope uh, um, uh, we sometimes are blind because you're too enthusiastic about our, our yeah. products so if you miss or <clears throat> see something that could be improved please let us know yeah yeah, yeah that's a strong part of the user voice i think it's yeah 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 so um um for uh partners or end users that miss or, or want to see some other function uh, want to see some functionality change, please let us know. Uh, we always take it seriously and uh, you can check our um, uh, roadmap yeah. to see what our, what the upcoming uh, uh, changes uh, will be. Yeah. Thanks. Then uh, we're at the end of this uh, video. We'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of our videos, you can go to our YouTube channel, yep. Petunix YouTube channel. Um, click on subscribe so you will get an alert when we post a new uh, type of video. And there's also the possibility to, to uh, follow us on, uh, on LinkedIn uh, and our website. Yes. See you next month. See you next time.